the it was the older concept is that the cell are which we have blood cells or lymphocytes they are actually coming from where yolk sac the cell in the early days appear in yolk sac we believe the blood cells are all coming from the stem cell appear in yolk but modern research say they are the little different story most of cells now actually coming from para rotting mesenchyme okay especially in the case of birds okay this is also called as dorsal rota this is also called as dorsal rota is actually a structure which is low on the long axis of the embryo which is providing blood to the embryo which is providing to the blood to the the the, the blood vessel or vessel so here you will find what stem cell you will find stem cell of what blood and lymphoid cells so this you know this diagram is actually telling you how bursa develop how these cells come into different organs what really happened normally in the mammalian species early stages here para mesenchyme or yolk sac then cell uh, move to after development after differentiate cell move into the liver cell move into the liver and into the spleen even into the later on into the bone marrow this how cell in embryo travel in mammalian species okay yolk sac para aortic mesenchyme from there they move into that's why some people call one of the function of liver is what hermopoietics but this function only during embryonic life this function is only during embryonic life that's clear then similarly spleen do this then they move into bone marrow but story in birds is little different from para mesenchyme there is no role of liver there is no role of liver these cell move into where spleen and maybe into the some bone marrow some into the bone marrow what really happened here if you look in the embryo of bird on the ed on the ed means embryonic day ed mean on the embryonic day 4 to 5 on the embryonic day 4 to 5 you will find what you will find bud of epithelial cells on the cloaca you will find bud of epithelium cell on the you are getting my point in other sense this is a bud of epithelial cells okay and this you know this epithelium which we called as what follicular associative epithelium or ife people believe this epithelium and the cloacal epithelium they have same origin they are they come from ectoderm they come from so on that surface we have this bud this is known as what epithelial bud so here the cell which are where from para rotic mesenchyme are in the spleen these cells are known as pre bursal stem cell they known as b which are actually b cells which are actually coming from here coming from here so these cells move toward that bud with the help of blood move toward the that bud epithelial bud okay the cell move toward the epithelial bud and finally they form what they form colony they colonized they enter inside that bud and make a colony they enter inside that bud and make a colony so these cell actually these dot this green dot, uh, blue dot they are what they are b cell they are until they are not enter in that bud we call them is what pre bursal stem cell pre bursal stem cells they are actually b, you can call pre bursal b cell you can call them you can call them move on what up to here what really happen day 3 to 4 you have what you have a prs of epithelial bud okay move on from day 5 to 14 from day 5 to 14 in embryonic development ad you have what you have two main things number one cell will be what 
colonized they form colony inside this epithelial bud they form colony inside this epithelial bud which is going to be bursa which is going to be bursa so what really happen after 5 to uh, uh, 5 to 14 embryonic day this cell will start proliferation proliferation means the cell divide increases number increases number so this in this area we have what proliferation you are getting my point cell are increasing and definitely the size is increasing definitely the size is so the cell which no inside okay and they are doing what proliferation dividing they are known as post bursal b cell they are known as what post bursal b cell you are getting my point what really happened next at that time we have hatching okay you know what is hatching end of embryonic life end of so uh, after hatching what really happened the size is, is the increase already we have this epithelium the cot formation of cortex occur there is no cortex on these stages okay in the follicle around that follicle there is the formation of cortex occur so cell of that stage the cell inside this follicle known as what bursal b cell known as so there is a three kind of cell come here pre bursal b cell okay or which are stem cell okay pre bursal stem cell then we have what post bursal b cell here we have what like here this cell they are what bursal b cell they are what bursal b cell okay what really happen from here after the hatching bursa de develop what cortex bursa develop what cortex and start his function start his what is the function they are ma maturing the b cell they are doing mature you know how maturation of b cell occur b cell actually convert into plasma cell what b cell do b cell produce antibodies b cell what b cell do yes the maturation of b cell is what there is two kind of things one is that this b cell mature and make what plasma cell make what plasma cell other they make a memory cell they make a but whatsoever after the maturation this cell this cell will be moved toward where peripheral lymphoid organs or secondary lymphoid organs or secondary lymphoid organ and when they find antigen they do their activities when they find any antigen they do their activities so you know you know i think this what is this people ask this question plasma cell you know so if this is a round this is what this is a b cell this is a okay b lymphocyte b i can tell you b cell were first described in bursa that's why they are called b cell b for bursa b for b cell that's true they were first discovered in yes there is a long story but these b cells they convert when they are mature they do what they have a cell which is called plasma cell which is called plasma cell they may have or they may convert into the memory cell they may convert into the you are getting my point listen this is how bursa do his activity until what until 7 to 8 month of age as the the bird get adult get adult the bursa start this atrophy finished but up to here bursa have people believe that bursa have produced very mature b cell which you can find in different peripheral lymphoid 
you know in birds we there the germinal center you know term germinal center in peripheral lymphoid organs in peripheral lymphoid organs or you can say in scaly lymphoid organs you will find a area okay which is called as germinal center which is called as this area actually have so many mature b cell so many mature b cells you will find there so people believe that after maturation the cell from the bursa move into germinal center of the scaly lymphoid organs clear okay we are going to have a simple and quick review of this lecture today we were discussing bursa fibricius which also known as colical bursa a sac like organ located on the dorsal surface of the colica primary lymphoid organ for the birds only found in the birds involved in what in the formation of no not formation maturation or training of b lymphocytes training of b lymphocytes if you look structurally bursa have many folds each folds have follicles follicles have medulla and cortex medulla and cortex have different kind of cell b lymphocytes bsdc reticular cells blood vessels also you find here cortex also have macrophages lymphocytes and also reticular cell so this this is the organization fold follicles follicle have medulla and that's clear functionally if you start from the beginning of the embryo life from day uh, for you can say 4 to 5 you will find there is a different kind of b cells there is a which one pre bursal b cell which were not colonized into the bursa or bud of epithelium they were in the different location maybe on spleen maybe on paraortic vision kind from here they will come and enter into the this bud and colonize inside this the this epithelial bud this epithelial bud is going to be follicle okay of the bursa this is going to be the follicle of the bursa where you move on we have post b cell which are inside and they are doing division they are doing division move on after hatching you will find these cells under the influence of some hormones are under the influence of bsdc they are maturing they are they are dividing they are converting from b cell to the what plasma cells you know some people also believe that there is a well, this follicle there is some antigen you know for some time you need a antigen to trigger b cell you need a antigen to the if there is the b cell the primary lymphoid organ will quickly convert pre existing b cell into the plasma cell convert into the plasma cell to cope that antigens to cope that that's clear thank you very much